Good morning, this is Father Nico Montalbetti from St. Luke's in Toronto. Our opening hymn is Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. According to Luke, Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep, but since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory, and two men stood up with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then the cloud came, then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son. My chosen listened to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone, and they kept silent, and in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. The Gospel of Christ. It's quite an experience when you think of the Transfiguration. We have St. Peter, St. James, and St. John encountering the past, present, and future all at once. Jesus is the present and the future. He is with them, and he will always be with them. In the past, they encounter Moses and Elijah, the two great prophets of Israel. And what the Transfiguration does is it links all of this together. We see Christ's glory manifest for his disciples, and we see the disciples realize a little more who and what Jesus is. It's a mystery which... St. Peter, St. James, and John would not really understand at that time. They knew they had been exposed to something great, but on the other hand, what exactly it was, they did not know. In time, they would understand more and more of what they had encountered, but it would take time, 
and it would take them being, shall we say, intentional about trying to understand that. When we ponder the mystery of the Christian life, it can seem overwhelming at times. We have a God who's infinitely good, trying to help us in a world which is flawed. We have free will, which we can use for better or for worse. At times we can be overwhelmed by the totality of everything we as Christians are supposed to encounter. And there, I think, is something important for us to remember. And what that is, is we don't have to understand it all or get it right at this moment. Many people spend their whole lives learning a little bit more, a little bit more, understanding a little bit more, a little bit more about the great mystery of the Christian life. If we don't feel we understand it all, we're in good company. If we don't feel we know it all, we're in good company. It's important for us to look at St. Peter, St. James, and St. John when they encounter the transfigured Christ, because not even they, these individuals who were Jesus' friends, these individuals who would go on to become great teachers of the faith, not even they understood it all. The Christian life is something we grow into. We don't just grow into it over a year or two, 10 or 20. We spend our whole lives growing into it and understanding more. It's not something we should expect to understand immediately. And even if it were revealed to us immediately, having it revealed to us and understanding are two different things. The disciples saw Jesus' glory. It would take them time to unpack exactly what that meant. Just as it takes us time to truly understand what it is the Christian life is all about. Amen. I invite you to pray the collect followed by the Our Father. Almighty God, on the holy mount you revealed to chosen witnesses your well-beloved Son, wonderfully transfigured. Mercifully deliver us from the darkness of this world and change us into his likeness from glory to glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn is Jesus on the Mountain Peak.